Good morning, everyone. Happy December 19th. Thank you so much for joining me again this morning. I've got Smokey right here, ready to say hi. As you can probably tell, it's pretty early in the morning, um, which explains my bathrobe. <laughs> you know, I figured it's, it's sort of like Christmas morning if I just wear my pajamas on these videos. Why not? I know things just keep going downhill from here based on what I look like in these, in these um, vlogs, but um, I'm trying to make it more authentic by being in my bathrobe, so let's just go with that. Um, also, another uh, example of why it's so early in the morning. I'm still drinking my tea. You can see there, I've got my I've read this mug. Pretty fancy, right? I take the branding of my vlog very seriously. Okay, so let's get on to the chocolate advent calendar first. Let's look for 19. Here we go. We've got a chocolate bell. Let's see what flavor it is. Promise not to eat it on camera, even though I want to. It's never too early to eat chocolate, FYI. At least that's how I feel. Milk chocolate, okay, great. I'll dive into that after this. So on to today's story. It was called The Friend by Lindsay Hatton. And I'm super excited about this one because it's my first, well, it's the first Christmassy story of the advent calendar. So December 19th, very exciting. Um, I can't wait to see what the other bloggers think about it because I really liked this one. It's about, uh, well, it's historical fiction and we start off meeting a young man who is being sent out to a um, construction project on Christmas Eve. And this project has kind of been stalled because some major winter storms hit and knocked down part of this bridge that has just been started. So he kind of comes as like a project manager to lift the spirits of the men, make sure that they enjoy Christmas, and then get started again on the project. So when he arrives, um, a lot of the men are really disappointed by what's happening and some of the men are just drunk already. <laughs> Things aren't looking good. So anyways, they go off for Christmas into town to, you know, have a drink and get their Christmas haircut and a shave. And he and this man who I believe is unnamed, it's it, the story is written from the first person perspective. He stays behind and the next day on Christmas Day, he comes across a man who invites him up to his house and he follows him and the house is sort of like a, like a hermit's house. So it's kind of built out of things from, you know, the forest and this guy's kind of living rough, but he's really kind and he invites him to stay for dinner and they kind of, they, they speak about the bridge and the protagonist discovers that this like hermit-like man is actually really against the building of the bridge because he thinks it's against the natural landscape and it he doesn't say it out loud specifically but he's sort of he's kind of hindering the project from, from moving along and then we skip ahead uh, like a decade or two to after the second world war and um the the protagonist returns to the site of the bridge after it's been completed and now it's a tourist destination it, it they refer to it as the bixby bridge now i know nothing about um american geography so i'm assuming this is a real bridge you guys can let me know in the comments below but anyways he um he goes there with his wife um they're on their honeymoon and when he oh my husband's coming in the door can you i'm, I'm recording my video can you just stay there <laughs> So anyways, he visits this bridge with his wife and they stay overnight in a local inn and the innkeeper talks to this man and mentions, hey, now you're making me all nervous and you're just standing there. It's so awkward. Just walk around the camera. <laughs> and the innkeeper mentions that there's, there's kind of this myth of this mountain man who lives in the area who can control nature um, himself. And then the protagonist gets kind of like creeped out and towards the very end of the story we learn that this protagonist actually um, went to the edge of the cliffs with this mountain man and the mountain man demonstrated with his hands how he could just with a flick of his wrist he could 
you know, move the ocean waves. So it's, it's, I, I, I've spoiled the story for you, <laughs> actually. But that's what I like so much about it, is it was kind of this, like, Christmas miracle. Um, and, you know, I guess because this man allowed the bridge to be built and he didn't destroy it with the winter storms after that, that he felt comfortable with the bridge being built in the end. I don't know, but that's what I like so much about it, is it's just this... That's, that's really what short stories should be, right? They should kind of come with this revelation and have this moment in them where, as a reader, you look up and think, oh, wow, you know? And that's what I had with this one. It was one of those special epiphanies, and even this early in the morning, <laughs> I still um, caught on and really enjoyed it. So, yeah, this story, The Friend, is highly recommended. I really liked it. And I think it's just the perfect start to the Christmassy section of the Advent calendar. I hope this means that the next few stories will be Christmassy. I guess there's no guarantee. Tomorrow's might not be. But it would seem kind of weird, or it, I mean, it'd be a disappointment if the next few stories weren't Christmassy. It would feel like an unfair teaser if that's what the editor did. So we'll just have to see. Um, thanks again for joining me today. Sorry about the interruption from my husband. <sighs> He just doesn't, he, yeah, anyways. But um, I'll speak with you guys tomorrow on December 20th, and Smokey will probably be in the video too. Bye.